Hi, this is John from Future Proofs, and in this video we're going to look at managing master proofs. Whenever you have more than one person working on a project, you need to gather and reconcile those corrections. Sometimes it's as simple as copying the two sets of markup onto one proof, but often you have conflicting changes in the same place, or changes that aren't quite what you want, and in most cases the changes need reviewing, rather than blindly copying en masse. Fortunately, Future Proofs provides quick and easy tools to deal with all of this via our master proof mode. You can access this from the orange mode button at the top left of the screen when you're viewing your proofs, if you have the right role on your project. The key to using master mode is being clear how it differs from the normal view in Future Proofs. Up to now in the workflow you've been seeing only your own private copy of the proof, with your own changes and queries. Now though, you'll see a shared version, initially with no corrections of course. You can add markup as normal in this mode, and it will be shown both on the master proof and also in your own copy when you view it. But master mode also lets you check out your team's markup, which you do from this menu. Just pick the name of the person whose corrections you want to see, or pick everyone at once. The markup that's already on the master proof is now shown in black, as a convenience, so you can clearly see what's on the master already. And the markup from your selected user is shown in red. To copy a particular correction to the master, you select it and then click the blue pin button underneath. The markup goes black to show it's been copied to the master proof. Select and pin. Select, pin. Nice and quick. Of course, the first thing you will usually do with a master proof is to copy everything that your proofread has asked for, or perhaps all of your own corrections. Fortunately, there is a copy all menu that lets you do this very quickly either all markup across the whole proof, or just the markup on the current page. When you're done, choose Master from the menu and you'll see only the markup that's on the master proof, all nicely coloured as usual. When someone's markup is shown on the master proof, you can't edit it, because it's still their markup. But once you've pinned it to the master proof, you can move it, edit it or change its text, just as normal, so that you can make sure everything's just as you want it. Once you have your master proof, you can share it with your typesetter by exporting a PDF file, or by inviting your typesetter to work directly within Future Proofs. But that's the subject of another video. For now, that's it for this quick introduction to master proofs in Future Proofs. Check out our other videos to learn more about what Future Proofs can do.